obsessed with TLC and all the trashy reality TV. It's, it's a, a recap. recap. It's, it's a, a recap. recap. It's a recap. Welcome back to another Love After Lockup recap. Today we're going to talk about the finale. Can y'all believe that this season of Love After Lockup is already over? I think I've gotten used to 90 Day Fiance seasons where they go on and on and on and on and on and on and on. So <laughs> 10 episodes of Love After Lockup and I'm like, that's it? <laughs> Okay, so we're going to get right into the recap with Justine and Michael. Justine confronts Michael about him being 30 minutes late to dinner with her and her mom. And remember how I said in my last video that being late is one of the biggest pet peeves that I have? And he thinks it's normal to be like 20 to 30 minutes late. Hell no. So Justine tells him, like, I told you ahead of time, please do not be late to this dinner. And you were still late and you did not text me back. And Michael apologized and he kind of tried to explain why he was late. It's something that he's just going to need to work on because he can't be late every single time. That's freaking rude. And it's annoying. You have someone else on the other end waiting for you. I just don't get how people don't realize that and kind of out of respect for them kind of let them know what's going on. You know, he couldn't even send a text. No, no. Mm -mm. So I'm on Justine's side, but they're able to talk it out and they make up. They decide together that they're going to tell all the kids about her pregnancy. So first it's Justine's kids. So they both take the daughter, Kylie, and the two sons and Justine's mom out to an ice cream shop. And by the way, I just want to point out that at the ice cream store, Mike saw a chessboard and he was talking about how the game works. And I don't know anything about chess, but this is what he said. He grabbed one of the chess pieces and he said, this is the king and he's very limited in where he can go. Like he can't really move much, but the queen can move everywhere and anywhere on the board. Therefore, the queen is the most powerful piece on the board. So what I'm trying to tell you is that behind every strong king, there's a strong queen. Okay, I'm no stranger to this quote. I've heard it many times. Behind every successful man is his woman, you know? But like, why can't she be in the front? Like, why does she have to be behind him? So isn't that kind of technically saying that the queen does all the work, but then the king gets credit for it? Anyway, so the kids are there and then they break the pregnancy news. The baby. Do you see the look on Justine's mom's face? If looks could kill, they would both be dead. The boys are really excited. They're like, oh, cool, whatever. But Kylie, she's the eldest. I think she's 17. And she's very emotional. She actually ends up crying. I would like to do more things that I didn't get to do with Kylie. Uh, hello, Kylie's still here. You can still do things with her. You know, you don't need a whole brand new baby to do the things that you've always wanted to do with your daughter that is still currently there sitting right across from me. I feel bad for the kids, you know? If I were Justine, I would have waited. I would have waited at least a full year for the kids to get close to Mike and to really bond together as a family and then maybe add another child. But to have Mike move in and then have a child right away, like that's a lot for the kids. And Michael even says that his kids told him not to have any more kids. And I know before I was only thinking about the financial aspect of having eight kids, but now I'm thinking about the emotional and the parenting side of it. Michael was in prison for a very long time. Wasn't he crying in the beginning of the season about how he hates that he lost all that time with his kids? The kids finally have their dad back and his focus is going to have to go to the newborn, obviously. One of the first things that they kind of hinted to was like, hey, dad, you know, you just got home. We haven't seen you in all these years. Please don't go having a baby. And that came from them. So now that Justine's kids know, Michael has to tell his side of the family and he's really nervous. I'm feeling real guilty right now that I still haven't told my family. Oh, really? Well, I think you should feel guilty about not wrapping it up, bruh. He's dreading it, but he's got to tell them. Tick tock, tick tock. He calls his mom. Oh my God, this is crazy. This is crazy. He calls his mom and he tells her the news and she can't believe it. She's not happy. She's like, what? You're, you're pregnant? 
Like, are you serious? <laughs> I just love how nobody's happy about this news. <laughs> Not a single person is happy. Then his mom, aka Justine's ex-friend turned mother-in-law, asks her to get a paternity test. So if you don't mind, can we get a paternity test? Paternity test? Oh my god, that's so freaking rude. So offensive and out of pocket. And apparently, this is a crazy part, she's been DNA testing all the freaking kids <laughs> without their knowledge, without Michael's consent. Okay, so I, does this lady just have a bunch of cotton swabs in her purse and then randomly whips them out and shoves them in their mouths and then ships them off to 23andMe? And then Michael goes, Ma, you need to stop DNA testing my kids. Who do you think you are, Maury Popovich? <sighs> oh my god, I've never heard anyone. <clears throat> I've never heard anyone say Povich as Popovich. Uh, paternity test, and who do you think you are, Maury Popovich? <sighs> Justine's not worried at all. She knows he's the father 100%. There's no chance that anyone else can be the father. So she's like, fine, whatever. Let that crazy bitch DNA test my kids. She's not actually not. really going to push me to do that, right? She's capable of doing it on her own. Even if she does do it on her own, I will have the last laugh because I know I've only been with you. I'm sorry about that. I just still think it's so crazy that she just secretly DNA swabs all her grandkids. Like, that's freaking wild. See, my mother has DNA tested my kids in the past before. Without my consent, without their mother's consent. Oh my god, I just, I don't know. It's just crazy. Well, let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!